Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of JavaScript promises. Promises are a powerful tool for managing asynchronous operations in a cleaner way than callbacks. We'll start by creating a new promise called fetch data. We use the promise constructor, passing in a function known as the executor. This executor function receives two arguments, resolve and reject. Think of resolve as a callback for success and reject as a callback for failure. Inside our executor, let's simulate an asynchronous operation using set timeout. We'll also introduce a variable called success and set it to true initially. Within the set timeout, we'll check the value of success. If success is true, we'll call resolve with a message indicating that the data was fetched successfully. If it's false, we'll call reject, passing in an error message. We'll set the timeout to 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. Now outside the promise, let's use then and catch to handle the results. We chain then to our fetch data promise. The function inside then will receive the resolved value, which in this case will be our success message. We'll log the message to the console. Next, we chain catch to handle any rejections. This function receives the reason for rejection, which will be our error message if the promise fails. And just like before, we'll log it to the console. All right, let's head over to the console and see this in action. There we go, data fetched successfully, our promise resolved as expected. Now let's simulate a failure by setting success to false. Save the file and refresh the browser. And now we see the error message in the console, error, failed to fetch data. Our catch block handled the rejection. So that's a basic overview of how JavaScript promises work. They make asynchronous code much more manageable by providing a structured way to handle success and failure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more JavaScript tutorials.